there is a red flag for the Panthers. Something that is becoming the biggest concern for them. And it's not Bryce Young and his development. Not everything has to go back to Bryce. The injuries are becoming a real problem. And when you start to piece some things together, there are real concerns to have about this team and where they're going to be when the season starts in two and a half weeks or so. Less than three weeks away from the first Sunday of the season. That's the real reason nobody played Saturday. Dave Canales wasn't always this let's sit everybody type of guy. Last year, he had Baker Mayfield competing with Kyle Trask for the starting position. The sense we all got after the Patriots game last week or 10 days ago was that we'd see more starters against the Jets. The Panthers sat 32 or 33 players in that game. But at that point, Carolina wasn't monitoring 20 injuries as they were after the Jets practice. To Dave Can Canales' credit, this is the area he deserves the most praise versus the past two coaches that were in his position. When he makes a decision, he will explain his work. He'll tell you why, truthfully, with little spin, why he does something. And here was Canales explaining well why the starters did not play after, and not even just the starters, but really the backups too. 38 inactives. Here was Canales explaining his work. We're going to get more people back. So again, this week would be another just week to evaluate. We're going to be, we're going to have more of those guys that would be playing um, with that starting group. So this could be a good opportunity for that um, this week. But again, it all depends on how practice goes. It all depends on the depth of the guys we have to finish games. Um, so again, that's, that's really just where my head was at. You know, it's like if we throw a group out there, but we're, we're missing a bunch of pieces, you know, it's not really giving us the full look at, at working together and doing that. So I want to make sure that they're able to do that together. Um, and so that kind of was what went to the decision. In other words, if we don't have the full offense out there, what's the point of throwing just a few guys out if we don't have a full look at the offense? And more specifically, if we don't have a healthy offensive line out there to start, why would we put Bryce Young behind a compromised line? But really, injury, it's becoming a problem. The timeline, they're not, uh, it's not ideal for a few guys. For example, we still have not seen DJ Wanham. That's a problem. We still have not seen Jonathan Brooks. Oh, he might be back week three or week four. How much of the offense does he know? How much do rookies need reps? My thought was you probably need rookies to get their reps more than anybody else. For Brooks to miss an entire offseason, can you expect anything from him this year, if he's getting back out there week three or week four, Xavier Woods, Dane Jackson, we learned last Thursday, will miss significant time, six weeks in Dane Jackson's case. And then with that secondary news, wasn't great when we learned yesterday, Stephon Gilmore, now a Minnesota Viking. So get on that waiver wire, Dan Morgan. That's going to be your answer to finding more depth at corner. Then there's Xavier Leggett. Apparently, since the second practice of training camp, he's been limited. So how does that affect his timeline of being able to help this team? Kind of like with Jonathan Brooks. Rookies, they really need this time. So if he's not getting the full camp that he needs to, are you going to expect a rookie right away to be able to help you that type of way? Deontay Johnson missing time last week. Let's hope that's one of the guys Canales is talking about being back. But when you put this all together and factor in how new everything is and that this is a 2-15 and 15 team a year ago, the injuries have become the primary red flag for these Carolina Panthers.